So here we go in the co-main event of the night. This becomes a catchweight bout between Jason High and Juan Seferino. Ready, ready. Glad ready, to have ready. him joining us on the commentary, the reigning featherweight champion in World Series of Fighting, Lance Palmer, alongside Henzo Gracie. So we are rolling out the red carpet tonight. Lance, good to have you with us. Both these guys you know are going to push the pace in this fight. There's no doubt about it. And I like uh, the Kansas City Bandit also <laughs> just because his idol is Kevin Randleman, a guy from the Ohio State. State University. There you go. He's already going for the. And he look at this. Jason High not messing around, jumping right in on Joan Seferino. And Seferino's got himself a little bit beautiful, of a problem. Beautiful, beautiful try of guillotine. It was a tight one. Seferino was very smart to lay down. That guillotine was on and it's still going. Look. The pressure is still there. Seferino's having a hard time. How do you He's defend out. this? Oh, look at that. How do you defend this, Henzo? That was beautiful from both of, the, of them. He stayed very calm in there during that. Wow. That was on. If he hadn't let him wrap his legs around, the fight was over. Yep. So, Jean Seferino, young man with some very high-end jiu-jitsu. Oh, look at this. He trains with Henzo Gracie. Imagine that. <laughs> Gets himself out of that trouble, and now Jason Hyde's back to a stand-up fight. But what a way to set the pace, as so many of the fans here at Municipal Auditorium have can't, came to this fight to see this young man, the Kansas City Bandit, as Jason Hyde comes in with a record of 20-5 and five out of American Top Team HD. This fight, although it's a catchweight foul, st fight, still scheduled for three rounds here. It's a great matchup too, Henzo. You look at both these guys' fighting style, and this is a, a very interesting contrast of how they put them together. Amazing. I was reading really uh, the story of um, of Jason. The first time he actually got in contact with jiu-jitsu, and then he loved it. He exchanged for wrestling lessons, and then he became an MMA fighter. He came back and signed up for a fight. Lance Palmer joining us, the All-American wrestler out of the Not Ohio guys, State University, yeah, proud Buckeye. What is the toughest transition that you had to make as a professional fighter, Lance? I mean, obviously, world-class wrestling, but was it learning the jiu-jitsu, the striking, the grappling? What was, the, what was the most difficult part for you? For me, it was the striking because as a wrestler, I'm a left leg lead, and I'm left-handed. So I had to switch my stance completely to be a lefty and a southpaw in the fight game. So that was the biggest change for me, but big, I do switch right it right hand. Zephyrino just landed. Zephyrino connects with that right hand as we Come up on 2.20 to go here in round number one. This one's scheduled for three. Reminders still to come. The main event of the night is defending middleweight champion and defending light heavyweight champion. David Branch puts his light heavyweight belt on the line against Vinny Magalhães. That was a nice kick to the body. Connected full fully. Pace slowing down here with two minutes to go here in round number one. Jason High in the red and black trunks, the Kansas City Bandit, and Joel Seferino. These guys are throwing hard, but they're throwing one-punch combinations. If they just add a couple punches, finish with It'll a be kick. much more efficient. Exactly. Uh, oh, he got caught. Wow. Jason Hyde wobbled there momentarily as Zeferino was able to connect. Now they're he up was the cage. wobbling on his legs, and Zeferino was able to score the takedown. And I think it was thanks to the, 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 the beautiful strike that came in. Vicious elbows in short quarter there from Gial Seferino. He's got the one leg trap, the left leg of Zeferino. Now, where would you like to see your fighter go here, Henzo? Would you like to take side control or try to get the full mount? Actually, in reality, there was a couple of chokes that he could have applied there. Okay. <laughs> and he let it pass. <laughs> it's difficult. I'm here talking to you guys. <laughs> it's always Kelly, easier to watch from And I would rather scream from here to tell him what to <laughs> you do. You are showing great restraint by not coaching and right I now. I know, I know. <laughs> How is Zeferino as a student? He comes to your academy? Yeah, he's a great kid, man. He, he was from the south of Brazil, and he began training with some good friends of mine who has been living in New York for a long time, for almost 15 years. And he came and moved here to run a school in Middletown, New York, and he's been training and love fighting and embracing. He was very glad the WSOF gave him this opportunity to represent Jiu-Jitsu here. Coming up on the final 20 seconds here in round number one. This one's scheduled for three. It's a catchweight bout between Jason High on his back and Juan Seferino out of Brazil. 
Interesting fight. We'll see what round two has to deliver. We will have that, that was return a, in a he beautiful kick. Perfect and kick. back to his feet. We'll have it all for you live here on NBCSN when we return after this. Back in Kansas City, the start of round number two. This was the conclusion of round one. And Jiao Seferino getting that kick in there in the final seconds as we're back to live perfect action. Perfect timing as he's, he was getting up. His hands were down. The kick connected straight to him. Moderating Jason High's corner is Joey Varner. Joey, what'd you learn? All right, Todd, in the corner of Jason Hyde, first thing they want is more feints. And they want to see him start going to the body. And once he establishes that body attack, it's going to open up that overhand left. They feel like if he finds a home for that, he can put Zeferino to sleep. Let's we'll see if he can do that right now, but it's a takedown right off the bat for Zeferino here early in round yeah, number Jason two. Jason was complaining that actually was a low blow to the ref, but Zeferino shot right in and the fight kept going. In that situation, though, you have to keep fighting. Unless the referee steps right. in, you can't just stop Definitely. the fight and expect the other yes. guy to stop. You can make the gesture, but you can't. Uh, this is the land where the, the son cries and the mother doesn't listen, my friend. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is true. The rules are simple. And already an extremely smart reversal because he right away positioned himself on the side. Yep. He didn't let him Opposite lock in the guard. The side, yes. his head is so Zeferino had to let go of the guillotine and work to put him back in guard or to stand up. Jason High in the red trunks from Right here in Kansas City, Missouri, the Kansas City Bandit taking on a very tough opponent, and Juan Seferino from Brazil. By his strike down was a brilliant move. He placed the hook on the other side and almost nice. took his back, and then he was able to reverse him as as Jason was able to face him again. He was completely out of balance because he had to keep his body fully straight. Brilliantly done by Seferino. Henzo, as a coach, you're an academy out of New York, and some of these fighters that you'll see tonight, including Zeferino, part of your academy, how often will they come back and watch this fight with you and say, where you're going to say, you should have done this? We do a lot of times. A lot do of you times. Really? It's not only them, but everybody else. We normally we, uh, we, we take a look on everything and see what, because sometimes a, a mistake that one of Stop. the fighters does applies to everybody, and it's able to improve and, and, and make everybody better. Go. Bring them back to their feet. Not a lot of action on the ground there, which is good for Jason Hyde. He wasn't really trying to get back to his feet. And this is where he needs to be. Seferino coming forward slowly. Both fighters slowing the pace down just a little bit. As Jason Hyde started this fight out with so much explosiveness, almost ending the fight early on. But it was the defense of Zeferino that allowed it to continue on. And you see that pace of that first round really taking its toll here on these fighters. They still have 90 seconds to go here in round number two and then the third and final round. Definitely, definitely. You can see it. Both of them. You see, look how such a good wrestler as Jason is being able, uh, as Zeferino is being able to take Jason down. Even of such a high level, it's the tiredness. They they really push so hard on the first round and half of this one that it becomes extremely tiring to even to stand. Zeferino's been like a wet blanket this whole round, just staying heavy pressure on him, creating that fatigue to Jason High, and that's what's able to get these takedowns continuously. And High hasn't really made an effort to bounce right back up. That's the easiest time to get back to your feet is right off the takedown, and he hasn't really been able to do that. Definitely. They pushed too strong on the first round. So this is a cardio issue here with 40 seconds to go. And once again, our referee, Mark Wassum, stands him up. Ref, the ref is too quick. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he wants he's got to no patience fight. for this. <laughs> So the time that the guys have to breathe a little and fix themselves, they're not allowed to. 90 
15 seconds to go. Third round still awaits both of these fighters. Will it be Jason High or Juan Seferino that emerges victorious? We will have the third and final round when we return to Municipal Auditorium here in Kansas City. You're watching WSOF 33. Kansas City's Municipal Auditorium, Todd Harris alongside go, with Henzo Gracie three, and the three, WSOF fire, featherweight fight. champion Lance Palmer as we get set for the third and final round in this catchweight bout between Jason High in the red and black trunks and Joao Seferino of Brazil in the yellow and black. I expect to see a lot of energy out of both of these guys because you never know what the judges, especially right. after a close first round like that. This is anybody's fight, really. So whoever goes out and wants it more, they could win this fight just by taking the third. And so if you had to have a scorecard on this one, how would you have this one? My dear, my dear friend, my, my, my emotions are involved in this. I can't judge. I can't judge. <laughs> Final 425 of this one between High and Zeferino. As I mentioned, Lance Palmer, a featherweight champion, joining Henzo Gracie and myself. And a wow, big right coming that was a, from Zeferino. A as like a fight that is it. The Joao fight is Zeferino over. has ended the fight, much to the displeasure of Jason High. And I have to be honest, even though the victory came from my student, it was early. Yeah. It was early call. I agree. It was a great punch and great follow-up, but I think it, it was a little early. Both fighters seemed to connect and get a good shot in, yes. but it was Zeferino that had the stronger punch in that buckled the knees of Jason Hyde. Now, whether or not, and you guys are both fighters, you want a little more time to see if they can recover, and I agree with you, probably going to let it go another second or two. Let's take a look at it one more time here in the third and final round. Boom! Oh. Caught him with his hand down, right on the chin. Nice follow-up. He got right on. Didn't give him any time. He was still fighting. He was still fighting. There's, that was yeah. definitely early. And so, but. Sometimes we have trouble with referees that come from just striking concept. <laughs> Beautiful fight, boss. <laughs> And right there, the referee sees Jason High's hands down. It almost looks like Lance High's left hand is pinned, so he can't get it out to defend himself, but he's working his way free. All that said, it is an official decision. We will have the word from Jazz Securo and talk to the winner when we return to Kansas City Live on NBCSN. For the official decision, we send it inside to Jazz Securo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Rawson has stepped in and stopped this fight at 51 seconds of round number three. Officially a TKO due to strikes. Your winner, Sean, the Brazilian Samurai Zeparino.